Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my August faves. Yes, that's right. These are the products that I've been using and loving in the month of August and I have a lot of great products to show you. Most of them are actually drugstore products. It was kind of a surprise to me, but I tried a lot of the Catrice brand cosmetics, which are new to Ulta recently, and I was really kind of blown away by them. And if you're not a subscriber and if you're interested in the cosmetics and beauty tools and tricks that help us mature women feel and look our best, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, let's get down to this. And I will say that I ordered the first two products from PR, but I really love them. I have another PR product at the end of this video that I did not love so well, but these first two I really did love and I have them on right now. The first is the Pure No Filter Blurring Photography Primer. And I don't know why it's called photography, although I suppose the primer looks good in photographs, which we all take a lot of photographs anymore. But I particularly liked it because when I put it on, it did seem to blur out the imperfections on my face. I have these large pores on my nose and in my T-zone area, and it really did smooth them out. Now, nothing totally gets rid of them, but my, this primer went a long way toward making my skin look a little bit more perfect, which I really appreciated. It also gives you just the faintest amount of glow, but it's not huge because we more mature women can't take all that super glow. But Pure is a product as a brand that I've really been impressed with lately, and this Pure No Filter Primer is a winner. Now, the next product is the YSL All Hours Foundation, and it says 24-hour full coverage wear, and my, this is full coverage. If you're a girl who likes to null out all of your imperfections, this foundation will do it for you. I have worn it for about the past week on and off, and I've really been impressed not only with the smooth, flawless finish that it gives you, but also with the fact that it lasts all day long. Now, this next product is a winner, and it is a drugstore winner, and it is an amazing product. In fact, so amazing that I made a dedicated video to just this one product alone. And this is for the opposite of this face, this full coverage foundation face. This is the Catrice One Minute Face Perfector. And what this is, is it is absolutely perfect for those like Saturday mornings where you realize you're out of coffee and you have to run to Target to get some more coffee and you look terrible, but you don't wanna do a 20 minute makeup, but you do want your face to look just that much better. Here is what it looks like. It looks like a little foundation, but it is not. It is a little kind of a mousse. And when you smooth it all over your face, it just blurs out the imperfections. It kind of hides the redness, but yet it lets your own skin peek through. I'll put a link to the video which explains this product below. Now, these next two products are under eye brighteners, and I have been loving them. And they're at the totally opposite ends of the spectrum, but I think both of them are wonderful. The first is this Catrice Camouflage Cream, and it is in the color Wake Up Effect. And basically what it is, it's a little pinky peachy camouflage cream. There it is, and I do have it under my eyes right now, although I went a little bit light on it because I also have an Essence Banana Powder under my eyes, which I'll show you in just a minute. But as you can see, it's just a little peachy toned concealer corrector, and you just smooth it under your eyes, maybe pat it under your eyes, and it hides your dark circles, it hides this darkness inside of your eyes, and it just brightens up the entire under eye area. And then this MAC Prep and Prime in the color Radiant Rose does exactly the same thing, but it costs quite a bit more. And here it is, it's a little brush in there, and you just go ahead and twist the brush up from the bottom. There we go, I think I got too much. And as you can see, that MAC Prep and Prime is also a little peachy corrector, and you just rub it between your fingers and dab it under your eye, or you use this little brush. And I like this little brush because it's very precise and it can get in all the nooks and crannies, and it truly does brighten up the entire under eye area. This is a fabulous product. Now my next August fave is the first product of this type that I've ever used and really been able to appreciate because this one truly works and I think it's like $2.99. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder and here it is. And as you can see, it's just a little yellow tone powder and a little goes a long way, as you can tell. Now, I really don't want to mess up this makeup because it is done, but I'll go ahead and take just a little bit of that powder and dab it under the eye and see if you can see the effects. It just brightens up that under eye area. It's also a good setting powder for any concealer you have under there. I'm not putting much on because I really don't want to mess up this makeup. But suffice it to say, you can get much more brightening out of this if you use more of this little yellow banana powder. As the name of this essence powder implies, it really does brighten up. 
Now my next product is also a Caprice product and this is the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. And this is a setting spray. As many of you who've watched my channel know, I'm always using the Urban Decay setting spray to spray my foundation brush before I start to brush in that foundation. And I often use that Urban Decay as a final setting spray to just set my makeup and kind of bring down the powdery look. And if you don't like that powdery look once you finish your makeup, this Catrice Prime and Fine Illuminating just gives you a little bit of extra glow. And I'll show you how it works on my skin right now. So there I am before, a little bit matte looking. Just kind of give it a spray. Whoa, whoa, oh my, I think I doused myself. Let's let that dry a little bit. Okay, now it's dried down a bit, but it still leaves a glow. Now my next two products are Catrice blushes, and I really do like these. And again, they're very, very reasonable. I can't remember, I think they're well under $5 each. The first blush is in Golden Coral, and that's what I have on my cheeks today. And the second blush is in Berry, and it's a pinker version, obviously, than this more orangey, corally version. And there it is, just a little peachy, corally blush with just the slightest bit of shimmer, not much at all. Very, very natural looking. Love this color, especially for summer. And then on top of this blush, to give it more glow, I have a very special Catrice product here, and it's something that I had never used before about a week ago, and I absolutely love it. This is the 3D Glow Highlighter from Catrice, and here it is, and take a look at that gorgeous highlighter. And I think this is about $4.99, but look at that. Absolutely beautiful shimmer. And although my makeup is done, I'll dab just a little bit more on, so you can kind of see what it does. It just gives you a beautiful illumination. I would say this is about a medium highlighter, but due to the beautiful orangey pinky color, it is fabulous on your cheeks. Now my next August fave is an eyeshadow palette, and this is the Too Faced Natural Lust palette, and there it is, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, very wearable colors. Here you have a lot of neutrals and this beautiful creamy color, which is what I have on my lids, and then I have this lovely soft brown in the crease, and that is all I have on my eyes. Of course, there is a very wide assortment of colors here, but it is so nice that you can still do just the simple beigey brown look, very, very neutral. Absolutely love this little fuchsia color here, and once in a while I'll run it under my lower lashes, and it really doesn't look fuchsia. It looks kind of like brown with a little bit of a purple to it. Very, very pretty color. Now, if you don't like a lot of shimmer, this palette may not be for you, and at first I thought it was too shimmery, and so for a while I put it down and did not use it for a few weeks and then I started experimenting with it and I noticed that most of the shimmers really weren't all that glimmery and most of these colors are very wearable. And because this is a Too Faced shadow, I just love that brand. It's very highly pigmented and it blends like a dream. Now my next August fave is another blush and this one is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic blush in First Love. And it's very similar to the color that I actually have on, the coral color, which is in the Caprice blush. But look at that lovely color. The peach in the middle is a very, very wearable, kind of a neutral peach. And then basically this outer rim color is a highlighter. And so there it just gives you very, very natural shimmer. These Charlotte Tilbury blushes are high quality. They blend out very beautifully and naturally, and they last a long time. Now right now I have a little bit of a natural makeup going, at least for me this is natural, and I wanted a very natural mascara, and whenever I want natural I always go back to my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And when I started my channel two and a half years ago, this was my favorite mascara, and then I went away from it for a while and went to some more dramatic mascaras, and every now and then I come back to this, and I've been doing that this past month. This mascara is a lovely mascara. There is the brush there, and I've got it in blackest black, and basically what it does is it just sweeps on your lashes and it makes your lashes look long and thicker and well-defined and it never clumps. Now, my next two products are eyeliners and they do different things for me. The first is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Brown and that is the eyeliner that I have on right now. Absolutely love this eyeliner. It goes on very smoothly and easily and it lasts all day. Really a wonderful eyeliner and I think it's $2.99. And then in my waterline, I have an old favorite of mine that I've come back to. I really love this eyeliner pencil. This is the L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner in the color brown. And here is that kind of chunky tip. This is great if you want a smoked out line on the top, not very well defined, kind of smudged out smoky line. And it's also great in the waterline. I won't put it on again now, but basically you just run it in the upper waterline and the lower waterline, and it gives almost an eyeliner effect and it makes your lashes look much fuller. 
Now, this next product is again Catrice, and believe me, I'm not sponsored by Catrice. They have no idea who I am, but I've been blown away by the quality of their very reasonably priced products. This is the Caprice Eyebrow Stylist in the color Never Be Ash Shamed, because it's ash, and that works beautifully for me, and in fact, I think this is going to become my go-to eyebrow pencil, because what it does, I don't know if you can tell, but this color is just a little bit blonder than my brows, and for those of you fake blondes, that color your hair. Sometimes our eyebrows stay very dark and it just helps to have an ashy colored pencil to kind of bring up that color a little bit. Absolutely love this reasonably priced eyebrow pencil. Now I'm going to be finishing up my makeup faves with two lip products. The first is a brand new MAC lipstick and it is in the color You Wouldn't Get It. Yes, that's right. The color is called You Wouldn't Get It. And here it is. And unusually for me, I've gotten away from nudes just a little bit in the last month and that is a pinky toned, peachy toned lipstick. I'll go ahead and apply it again so you can see how it looks. And I have to admit that I got this when I went to the matte counter to get something else and the lady behind the counter was wearing this and I left the counter for a while and then I went back to ask her what it was and I purchased it. Absolutely love this. To me, this is a more modern take on a pinky toned matte lipstick but I've been kind of shying away from matte lips and so over this lipstick, I've added some wonderful gloss this is the NYX Filler Instinct in the color Sparkling Please. Sparkling Please. Because this is just a bunch of pink sparkles. And I used it in another video, but I've been wearing it almost every day over a variety of lipsticks. And I really like it. Look at that. To me, this is absolutely a beautiful glistening sparkling gloss, which steps up the look of just about any lipstick. Now my last product was sent to me in PR and this is the John Frieda Day 2 Revival Dry Shampoo. And as you may know, if you've watched my channel, I generally love the John Frieda products, especially the anti-frizz ones because I need those. But I have to say that this one did not blow me away like the other John Frieda products usually do. There was nothing really bad about this. I just didn't think it was anything exceptional. To me, this was just like any other drugstore shampoo, neither good nor bad. It does work, but to me, it wasn't fabulous. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card. Happiness is a choice I make. Happiness is a choice I make. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it is so true. Happiness at any given point is a choice that we make. You know, I used to let my feelings bat me back and forth and I thought, oh gosh, why can't I just be happy? But as I grew up, I realized more and more that I am responsible for my own feelings and that I can choose to view any situation either as a positive or a negative. So friends, just for today, let's realize that happiness truly is a choice we make and let's choose more and more often to be happy. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.